There you what? go. What are you doing with your furniture in my apartment? Grown up, this is my apartment. So this is your little trick changing the lock, huh? Wait a minute, what's going on here? You told me you lived here. Who's he? A locksmith. What do you think? Here. Thank you very much. Oh, Goodbye. no, 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 no. I'm not going along with this. If this is her place, I just helped you break in. That's exactly what you just did. Look, even if you did, it's already done. So what can you do? Let me see your driver's license. What? <laughs> hey, look, if anything happens here, I want to know who you are. <laughs> I'm not going to show you my driver's license. Well, in that case, I'm going to memorize your face. <laughs> no mole, left cheek. <laughs> Now that you see that I've moved in, uh, would you leave? Where do you come off looking that good in the morning? Look, Rhoda, I'm starting a new job today, so... Where'd you get that 90 from? Trisha Nixon? <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't mind... I hear your doctor boyfriend's making a little house call tonight. Beth told me. <laughs> you know, Mary, I hope everything works out for you. I really do. Well, thanks. Because if it does... That means you'll move out of here and this'll be mine. <laughs> Rhoda! You know, I left New York City because I couldn't find an apartment. I'm not gonna leave Minneapolis for the same reason. You know what? What? In spite of everything, you're really a pretty hard person to dislike. I know what you mean. I'm having a hard time hating you, too. We'll both have to work on it. <laughs> Somebody get Ted Baxter in here. He's probably in makeup. I'll do it, Mr. Grant. He'll do it. When I say somebody, I mean him. Uh, Mr. Grant, uh, I wonder, do you think you could find something for me to do? I'd, I'd like to be a little busier. I'm too busy to keep you busy. <laughs> Why'd he hire me? Why? Maybe he was bombed. Oh, no, I mean it. Hi, fellas. Here he is, the Marcello Mastriani of Minneapolis Newscasters. Why, thanks, Bert. It's not a compliment. He has trouble speaking English, too. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> you haven't met me. I'm Ted Baxter, the anchor man. <laughs> I know. And I'm Mary Richards. Uh, I'm the new... Uh... Wonderful. I've been telling Lou we needed a new one. <laughs> uh, welcome to my six o'clock news team. Thank you. Baxter, will you knock it off? Come on, let's get to the studio. Newsroom. Baxter! Uh, just a moment, please. Mr. Grant! Huh? Uh, it's Mrs. Grant. She's calling from the airport. Oh, yeah. She's going to her sister's for a month. Tell her I'll speak to her when she gets back. <laughs> Murray, give me that list of words that Baxter mispronounced on last night's show. Catch the top one, Lou. The top one. Chicago. <laughs> Come on, fellas. And take that makeup bib off. Last night he wore it halfway through the show. <laughs> Newsroom, Miss... Bill? Well, hi. When did you get into town? Uh, yeah, that's right. I'm working here in the newsroom. Associate producer, can you believe that? Oh, yeah, they're keeping me really busy. No, 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 I'm not too busy to talk. Well, how long will you be in town? Well, sure, drop over tonight. It'll be good seeing you, too. Bye, Bill. You've changed the room around. Personally, I, I didn't think there was a thing wrong with the way Bess arranged it. Well, I, I just, you know, switched a couple things. Well, uh, it's your apartment. <laughs> Until you're married, anyway. Uh, well, now, look, Phyllis, just because Bill is coming tonight, it doesn't mean we're getting married. I want to see you married, Mary. <laughs> well, me too. <laughs> because I'm married. <laughs> <laughs> and I know how beautiful it can be if you look at it realistically. I mean, realistically. Face the fact that it means a certain amount of sacrificing, of unselfishness, of denying your own ego. Sublimating, <laughs> accommodating, surrendering. Phyllis, 
Say it. Mm-hmm. You're hurting my hand. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's all right. Try and remember what I told you. I will. Believe me, I know about marriage. <laughs> still has an rod, and of course the uh, curtains at the window, you know, will help, and uh, and I, I really don't know why you're here, Mr. Grant. <laughs> well, I was in the neighborhood visiting one of my favorite spas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my wife left today. She's going to be away for a whole month. Now I know why you're here. <laughs> oh, yes, Miss Associate Producer. <laughs> he said he'd find something for you to do. <laughs> Certainly didn't get the job because of your personality. You know, you got a great caboose. <laughs> there it is. You got the job because of your great caboose. But not as great as my wife's. She's got the greatest caboose ever. <laughs> she left today. She's going to be away for a whole month, and I miss her already. I miss her so much, I am going to write her a letter and tell her. Good. Where's your typewriter? Well, I tell you, Mr. Grant, you know, I just moved in, and I, you know, I'm not really sure where everything is. Ah, there's a little portable devil. <laughs> You know, Mr. Grant, there's a whole slew of typewriters down at the office. Oh, yeah. Uh, wouldn't you be more comfortable there? Oh, no. <laughs> My dearest. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? <laughs> I'm fine. No, I'm not. That's my boss, uh, down at the newsroom. Oh, is there a big news story here? Uh, no, he's uh, writing to his wife. I miss you more than... Where did you ever get roses in winter? Roses in winter? That's beautiful. Oh, um, you, uh, you, you don't want to read that. Oh? Why, did you have a weak moment and get mushy? No, no, it's just that, uh, here, it's give too me... Too late, too late, it's already out. Get well soon, Uncle Buddy. Love, Gloria, and Milton. I, I, I got them from a patient down at the hospital. Oh? It's not as if I stole them. I, I had to promise Uncle Buddy a free nose job. <laughs> hey, you know, I, I don't know about you, but I don't like being in separate towns. Hey, I don't know about you. <laughs> Say, you, you know, it's, it's, um, it's a little difficult to talk with... Uh, uh, is it possible to... Uh, all my love, Lou. All my love, Lou. Hey, I am finished. I think I'll go tie one on. <laughs> well, that's kind of a weird boss you've got there. Oh, I don't know. I think that's kind of sweet. You know, a man who misses his wife that much. Oh, <laughs> you, you just couldn't wait, could you? <laughs> couldn't wait for what? To bring up marriage. Uh, well, I've waited uh, two years, Bill. That's not exactly couldn't wait. You know, that, that's waiting. That's really waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You're right, and I'm wrong. All right now, there's no need to talk about it anymore. That's not why I'm here. Oh? Why are you here? Well, I haven't seen you in a month or so, and, uh... <laughs> I... Oh, no. 
Oh, you, you didn't think that the only reason that I was here was to... Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm here because I, I love you. How come I never noticed that before? Wait, that I love you? That you don't say that very well. <laughs> you, something kind of... <laughs> catches in there and, and it just, it doesn't come out too well. Well, uh, maybe you can give me some lessons then, huh? I see that you say very well. Hey, come on, Mary. Look, we got the whole night ahead of us, and we're we're getting all hung up on words. Why, why don't you get us out of this? You you say everything so well. No, I don't. I say a lousy goodbye. Hi. <laughs> you got a stamp. <laughs> Um, uh, Mary, uh, uh, did, did you just say goodbye? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's what I thought you said. Uh, yeah, well, I'll, s I'll see you. Take, take care of yourself? I think I just did. Bye. <laughs> this is a Christmas seal. Is, uh, is that a stamp? Yes, it is. Thank you. That guy, you didn't lose much. But he sure did. He missed out on a best wife. Boy, it's funny how you can see things differently in, in just a couple of weeks. You know, I, I could have married him. Can you imagine what, what that life would have been like? Boy, every time I'd get a basket of flowers, I'd wonder if he stole them from Uncle Buddy's sickbed. <laughs> Listen, if I were you, I'd find out what Uncle Buddy was sick with. <laughs> I am so lucky. You feel good now, huh? Yeah. No, I feel rotten. But lucky. <laughs>